Let's start with the markets this morning. You did see the Dow's U-turn yesterday. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen doing some damage control on her rate comments that she made earlier in the day when she said she thought rates might need to be higher to deal with p pending inflation. Now, when she rolled things back, she said that she was not suggesting, not recommending, not even predicting that there were going to be higher rates. But boy, is that a mouthful. You have a Treasury secretary who happens to have been the former Fed chairman who was going through saying some of these things, and she walked that back pretty quickly. Uh, the Dow did close higher yesterday, but it was the, the lone one of the three major indexes that was higher. S&P was down a little bit, and then the Nasdaq was really down pretty significantly yesterday. It was a drop of over 260 points. It was about 1.9 percent of a decline, and it was the biggest down day we've seen since March 24th for the Nasdaq. Now, this morning, there are green arrows across the board. Looks like there is going to be, uh, at least at the early hours and the early going, um, some pullbacks or some rebounds after the losses we sound yes saw yesterday, especially for the NASDAQ, which right now is indicated up by about 71 points. Dow futures indicated up by about 92 points, and then the S&P indicated up by close to 17. Treasury yields worth paying attention to, too, because all these comments coming from Jen uh, Janet Yellen, people thinking about what that means for inflation, actually, you're not seeing it play out in the yields, at least right now. Right now, the yield on the 10-year is 1.603%. And then Joe mentioned Dogecoin at the top. Let's check out the cryptocurrencies because Dogecoin is the one to watch. I actually saw news reports yesterday, guys, speculating that the reason it's up right now is because Elon Musk is going to be on Saturday Night Live on Saturday. So that's what you have happening. Dogecoin up 17 percent. And by the way, Dogecoin, which was about a half of a penny just a few months ago, now sitting at 66 cents. Dogecoin's market cap is now $86 billion. So that has been something to watch and, and, and watch a pretty ferocious upturn on all of that. You see um, the other cryptos up, up as well. Ripple up by about 3 percent. Litecoin up by 8.5 percent. Ether, which has seen some really big gains recently, it's, it's up less on the percentage basis. Uh, Bitcoin at this point up by about 1.7 percent to 55,453. We should also check out the Squawk Stack this morning, probably worth paying attention to some of the other indices where you are seeing new highs once again. Dow Transport's another record close yesterday. It's now been above the 200-day moving average for 191 straight sessions, and it's 141 percent above the pandemic low for the transports. You think about the airlines and other stocks that suffered, they have come back in a big way. Financials and materials also setting record closes yesterday. And WTI up as well. It's up another one and a quarter percent this morning to 66.51. Yesterday was the highest close we'd seen since March 11th. Um, and then Dogecoin on there one more time for good measure, up 17 percent. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.